Hey everybody, it's me. Welcome back to Kaiserreich. So, we are now, I'm trying to minimize the unpreparedness uh, mechanic. So we've gotten two of these done. We then need to get ten of you. We're at two. So I gotta get, like, most of these finished. So we'll focus on this next. Because, again, I, I don't want unpreparedness to be... Horrible for us. What about the mountaineering division? Is there anywhere that has like a lot of mountains? I guess mostly in Italy would be where you'd be the most uh, efficient, effective. You're prepared. In preparation, you guys need some more stuff. A, stability and political power. Not going to say no to that. We'll crush you. Cartel busting. Let's get more stability with you. Political power goes up. Hey, I mean, that, that sounds pretty good. I will definitely take it. We have a lot of mountaineering divisions. Well, for right now, let's just send you to Purple Army. We'll f figure out what the hell to do with you afterwards. I'm sure there's mountains in Russia somewhere. And that's all of those mountaineering divisions finished. More infantry. We have no map. Really have no manpower? Kind of embarrassing. Go negative 10 for the financial injection. Let's get some land reforms here done. Free peasants on free soil. Going to give us the building slots I don't give a shit about. Like, not, not even a little bit do I care about that. But hey, I mean, everybody likes us quite a bit. The first month after the foundation of the Brunswick Front were filled with enthusiasm. Soon, it was increasingly been replaced by cold, hard reality. There was a reason why the German right has always been fractured between numerous small, relatively insignificant parties. Their goals and interests differ. As though uh, some merely seeking conservative democracy, while they desire a national revolution or the restoration of traditional monarchism. We received reports that the Brunswick Committee, a collection of right-wing leaders established uh, during the initial meeting in Brunswick, and subsequently uh, tasked with the management of the uh, fight against our government, is suffering difficulties in coordination. Good. I'm, ha I'm happy to see it. Okay, we got better radars. I guess now we can probably go for the 39 rifles. We'll go with uh, Mauser on this. Okay. Good, 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 good. More street clashes. Can you, like, stop clashing the streets, though? Like, I don't know why this is so difficult for you to do. How much organization do we have, though? We're at 70 at the moment. Hawaiian royalty has visited Berlin. I, um, hello. Hello. 10 more infantry. Let's station you... There we go. That, that seems fine for now. An outbreak of violence in Berlin. Though the Brunswick Front was founded with a joint plan of action, each of the member parties and individuals interpreted their goals differently. Moderate conservatives only see this as a temporary alliance, put an end to the Marxist aspirations, and allow the country to turn to respectful parliamentarian life as seen before 36. Whereas the radical counterparts hope that the polarization between the left and the right will pay way for a national revolution, putting an end to the parliamentarian democracy and bringing forth the strongman regime. One of the believers is in uh, such as the German Socialist Party, a minor far-right party led by Julius Steicher and uh, Gregory Strasser. Oprah represented among nationals and students and veterans and using this as uh, occasionally causing trouble in the streets. What do we want to do? Restore order or arrest them. I'm going to take a quick little save because I feel like this might be important. Now. The final piece in Strider's plan is put into place. The DSP's rally in Berlin today is unexpectedly violent, even by their standards. Deliberately so. It seems that the German national populace seek to provoke the counter-protest held by the Democratic Front into aggression. The police in Berlin receive reports about beatings, broken windows in Jewish shops, and rocks thrown. Let's go with arrest Streicher and Strasser. We'll see how this goes for us. But I'm hoping this will be the end of this soon. Let's go organize the correlation of the economy. And what, 54% more support. I think we'll be able to 
Um, I think we'll be able to get all of this done. Breakdown of national opposition. The event in Berlin divided the national opposition. While the DKP was vehemently against any sort of childish revolutionary action, as their leadership put it, the response among the DVLP is more divided. Not very surprisingly. Uh, Hugenberg commended the action of the DSP and her DVP affiliates, perhaps with the illusion that he could use his increasing polarization to position himself as new leader of the radicalized right and use the national populist radicals to gain power. Other than the VLP were unwilling to expel the DSP from the common front. Some were sympathetic, yet others were against and took the same position as DKP on a misguided radicalism. So we are going to get a 10% boost of po uh, political power gain. Fantastic. So they're basically collapsing in on themselves, which we're happy to see. So now we're only at a negative 25. Which I guess is technically an improvement. Okay, so let's see if we can make these units a little bit bigger. Like, if I was to throw in, let's say, hypoth... Well, how many artillery pieces do we have? If I was to throw in... Like tank destroyers. If I was to throw in... Uh, do -do -do, like, an uh, anti-air. Missing 1,500. What about... Artillery. Would also be missing a ton. Okay. We, we can't afford it quite yet. 1940 nuclear technology. Let's go for a construction bonus here. Okay, okay. And then, how much, how much points do we have for you? Still at 70. Okay, so the numbers are still very much in our favor. An incident in London. I want to reduce world tension. We're going to lose some war support to gain the... Uh, for reduced tension, I, th I think that is worthwhile. Because I want to, I want tension to go down. Because I want as much time as humanly possible to deal with these focuses. Ooh, ten percent stability. The Brunswick Committee, established less than a year ago during the meeting of the Brunswick Front, has closed down. It's no longer had the fund or momentum to keep on going. We'd love to see it, but we still have you to deal with. We still have government paralysis, which is very annoying. And I do not know when or if that'll ever actually go away. I hope it will. At some point. I, it, that'd be nice for me. So does that mean that the... Um, we're at 170. I need also worry on you. Because I can't have... Whatever the Young Turks is. We probably want to avoid that. That feels like it might be like a fail scenario. And obviously I do not want that happening. Okay, more street clashes. We've lost 10 points here, but that's okay. It'll be finished. I guess I think we probably need to take like one more of you. Let's take um, the rail. I guess it did say we need to take a railroad focus, so we actually do need to do this too. Okay, five more political power. You are going to be done in three days. Do not allow the Russians to vote. And let's get one of these railroad focuses up, because I think we do need to do it. Now we can get a, another army going. We'll station you right there. You guys can be the white army. The Russian Empire has left Middle Europa. Bulgaria joined the Moscow Accord. Are you fucking, are you serious right now? You pieces of shit? I'm kind of, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm kind of like 50-50 whether or not I force them into the Reichspact because I'm the one that literally saved their ass. What fucking dickbags, man? I literally saved your fucking country and this is how you repay me? Em embarrassing. Also, I have more factories. What do I even spend you guys on? 10 on you, 10 on you, 10 on you... Well, let's just get all of these to go to 10. And then we'll worry about it afterwards. The vote has failed. We'll never let the Russians do anything ever because I do not like them. Yeah, the, one, the 140, it is getting a little close, but 120 on you. After the unification of the German Empire, the Prussian Penal Law was adopted as the common imperial penal law. Including paragraph 175, which punishes all acts of male homosexuality with imprisonment and loss of civil rights. 
Political power was 75, absolutely, will allow um, homosexuality to not be criminalized. And that's going to allow me to probably get ourselves up to limited conscription. As you may or may not know, if gay people are not illegal, it means that you're allowed to have them in the army. Yes? Does anything I say makes sense? I don't know. We're getting 0.85. You're still looking okay. And we're at 50 organization, which is fine. Actually, you know, eh, we can spend 10 points. 10 political power is not going to break us one way or the other. A lengthy investigation to please the King of Prussia and the Reich's treasury has confirmed that uh, Riemstma, one of the largest cigarette manufacturers in the German Empire, has been using uh, consistent political pressure in order to bypass numerous laws against hostile acquisition of opposing cigarette brands. Now, I will say our war support is quite low. Political power minus 25. Or we lose 10 left and 10... Eh, that's fine, actually. The, the 10 is not that bad. We're, we're, we're still more than uh, happy in our position. Also, what do we have here? 45 steel. I mean, it, it's a little expensive on the political power front. Demobilize the economy. It's because our war support is so fucking bad, right? Yeah, it's not it's not great. Combat how do we get 0.61 from combat casualties? Is that from um all the volunteers we got killed? That's kind of funny if it is. Albania joined the Moscow Accord. I'm actually so mad at all of you. You assholes. You fucking dickbags. Um, 30 steel, some two steel factories, two military factories. Sounds good to me. Why would you do this to me? Like, what have, what have I done to you, Albania? It'd be, like, Serbia, Greece. At this point, you should join my faction because Bulgaria joined the other side. Doesn't, it doesn't even make any goddamn sense. But we'll see. I, again, I, I might just force it into the Reich's fact. And what, what are you? You're a negative 5% stability. Unless I can get like 1% more war support, huh? In 41 days. We can probably do it. I think. I mean, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be able to do it. At least not right now. Okay, basic, medium, tank, chasey. So, medium tank. Uh, we'll go with a... One-man turret? It's pretty cheap for a one-man turret. Go with you. Let's go with a basic high-velocity cannon. With a... Uh, ooh, improved radio. And sloped armor. Now we can replace... We can replace you with you. And what we should also do is actually on our production. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Heavy tank. These all use like the same model. It's hard to tell which one's which. Here we go. Put some better radios in those bad boys. We're happy to see it. How many units are we at right now? 117? I think that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy with those numbers. I guess every single time... Oh, every single time this succeeds, we get 5% political power. So how much longer... What what are we at right now for that um, penalty? 15? So it needs five or three more go-arounds. Which is not bad. I'm going to take the 1940 heavy tank. I, I know it's going to take 400 days. Which is quite a while. But I also think that's fine. Burma! We're gonna get Burma so fucking rich. By how much trade we're giving them. Tension between Neil Revisions and the Leftist. I do want to add... Do I want to add 30 days to you? I think I do, actually. So this is gonna get the... The Left a little bit worse, but that's fine. 
let's you know let's do a combined arms. Army experience plus twenty five. I will take it. And then you're thirty more steel. We've got our site for the uh, Italians. I guess next we'll go for Russia. And actually, let's get our encryption up a little bit more as well. We can definitely afford it. Okay, so now we're at five. Don't care about infrastructure too much. We'll go with you next. It's going to get up to six. Now, I don't know if it's like a either or. Like, it's either you have ten and you have no penalty or you, even or if between like zero and nine is the same. I'm assuming it's kind of like a, a, a scale. Goring, goring, goring. Another penalty to the uh, to the far right. Good. We're happy to see it. I want. I, I basically. I want them to not be happy at all. Discovery of nuclear fission. I'm, like Germany's really just popping off. Forty-five steel. Infrastructure. Civilian factory. Let's give. Let's give me that forty-five steel. And we get an extra civilian factory off it as well. It's, it seems good to me. It seems very, very nice to me. Okay, Cape Town's collapsed. So I'll probably see the Entente win in South Africa, which is fine. Like, I don't, I don't know if it really matters too much. And now we've got the Desert War. The, des the Desert War is interesting. Because, I mean, we want the Ottoman Empire to win. How many? I can send them five troops. Oh, congratulations, Ottomans. You can have these five divisions. What about air forces? I can I send you three planes as well? Let's send you... Combine. Uh, uh, now I want you to combine. Let's send you three here. Now, where am I going to actually send you? Cuba wants to join our faction. Absolutely. Welcome, Cuba. Send you here. All of you will just be in Syria for the moment. That sounds fine to me. Yemen's declared war on the Ottomans. Choice of agenda. Let's go cheaper weapons. Our volunteers are going to arrive in uh, four days. Okay. Four days seem reasonable. We're going to put all those troops, of course, on the border with the uh, Egyptians. Actually, we should put them to station in Damascus because I do know the, uh, the uh, Syrians will rise up. Hey, okay, there we go. They don't have troops in Damascus? No, I guess not. But we can we can crush this fairly easily. Equipments have gone to East Asia. Agent has been injured. Did I actually ever do this? You're completed. Increase collaboration and comment of France by 30%. Close. We prepared this. And I don't have anybody that can help this. Oh, oh ah, ah, I got so many pop-ups. Okay, finest hour. Do not care. For you, let's go to vitalize heavy industry. Disagreements all front. Um, what's our strength at right now? Fifty. We'll take this for now. Two events have shaken the German press this week. First, an incident on the heavily fortified Franco-German border in which a few French soldiers wandered into German soil and turned back after a stern warning. Second, an article in the Kreuzstein by General Ludwig Beck which assessed the staggering growth of the Russian syndicalist armies in size and quality. National focus under the war preparedness filter uh, will make us more prepared. Oh, it actually just gives us a... Um... Oh, okay. Okay. Industrial projects... So if I click War Preparedness, so they want these folks. We take one of these, yes. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm glad that we at least now know what we need to take. 
That actually is very helpful. Thank you, Kaiserreich developers, for showing me this. Uh, let's go with improve submarines. Throw that on five factories as well. We still need even more. You know, let's start trading. Let's say the Deconfederation as well. How is India doing, by the way? They haven't killed the Bahari Commune yet, but I think they will collapse pretty, pretty soon. Okay, are my divisions here? Yes, they are. Like, we should have, like, complete air superiority as well. And I have another red division on their way. Then we can move here. We can get ourselves an encirclement. Iran has now joined the war. Which is fine for now. You've been killed off. Excellent, excellent. And Syria is dead. That, that's, that is not a surprise. I'm happy to see it, though. Sandy the White Army... What do we do? Like, 13,000 rifles, 3,000 artillery pieces. Medium tanks are a little bit low, but that's fine for now. Are we now at the point where I can throw in, let's say, uh, an anti-artillery piece? What about anti-air? We'd still be a negative one. What about anti-tank? What about if I threw those support anti-tank and support anti-air into the side armies? Anti-tank would still be... Not great. What about recon? Save that bad boy up. Looks good, looks good to me. Looks good to me right now. Armenia, I don't think it's going to last too long. Let's even get like an encirclement on these divisions here. I think that'll be quite lovely for us. Okay, new rifles. And you know what? We'll go for 1940 tech as well. Rifles, we will upgrade you. I want to replace old ones first. Now, these guys will get killed off pretty easily. They're going to get encircled and then wiped off the face of the earth. We love to see it. So then this is going to be what? So we're at six. This will be seven. So we just need three more. And then we need to do all the... Uh, all the military focuses as well. But I will say for this moment, I think this will be a good time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Not enjoy it, thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.